Hey, Nico, how are Hello, you today? Bonnie. Hey, great to I'm see great. you. How are you? I'm good. It's Listen, good to see you too. greetings here from Toronto, Canada, where I can't even tell you how many fans the show has. We, of course, have all been chomping at the bit for the new season, so <laughs> I can't even imagine how you're feeling. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to birth this baby on June 3rd and give it to the world. I'm ready. Oh, good. Good to hear. Well, lots to talk about. And let's start with the fact that the fans, like, you know, you, you, this, the first season <laughs> airs, then we have this little thing mm -hmm. called the pandemic. So it kind of brings right. it all down because you can't get right back to, to shoot season two. And then you mm -hmm. deal with the pandemic in season two. Tell me a little bit about that. Like set it up for us. Uh, well, for us, it's uh, if you watch season one, if you haven't download the app real quick, the stars app and, and binge the season, but it ends after murder night. It ends five. We start five months later right. from where we left in season two. I mean, in season one. Um, and what we are in the middle of the pandemic Autumn Knight and Uncle Clifford are sharing ownership of the club now. Yep. Uh, well, she thinks she's the owner, but Uncle Clifford knows that she is the boss. <laughs> and I think that, <laughs> you know, it's definitely a season where all of the characters are kind of like fighting tooth and nail to yeah. find their place in the sun. And when I say that, I really mean like, you know, we really have been challenged these last two years, uh, a lot of us in just what is our capacity? What is our breaking point? You know, what is going to be too much? Or how can we keep our family and our households afloat? And I think you get to see those echoes of that process in the characters. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it kind of serves as like a time capsule piece of how we all made it through this time. Yeah, it's quite amazing. Um, and Uncle Clifford, you know, he's, you know, he's really grown from like from the first season. He's, he, he's an interesting character. I wanted to know that, you know, the challenge you have playing him uh, or her, well, you know, I'm not sure about the pronoun mm -hmm. there, but I, 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 I don't want to get that wrong, but I, I, I just, um, I'm fascinated by Uncle Clifford because there's a lot on his plate. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I think one of the, one of the beautiful things I will say is that as a part of, as an actor, I'm standing, I've all, you always stand in protection and, um, the protection of the space of the character to always right. advocate for the character, you know? And one of the things as the actor, I feel so honored to be able to have conversations with people like yourself, not only because of your platform, but as a human being, because yeah. you were like, just, just a moment ago, you were, you were vacillating between the him and, and well, no, it's her, but yeah. you thought about that for a moment. Yeah. And I think that thinking about people and thinking about, how they identify, how they care, you know, that heart of that person. I think that that level of empathy is something that we don't have enough of today. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that part of the intention behind the character is to create that space for empathy to exist. The fact that the character carries the moniker of uncle and Clifford, but still identifies with she and yes. her pronouns. It is a dichotomy for some people, but it is her truth. I don't think that women have to be a certain thing to be yeah. a woman. You don't have to be quote unquote feminine to be a woman and you don't have to be masculine to be a man. And I think that Uncle Clifford, literally from the initial stage directions that I read back in 2009, when we first mm -hmm. started this project says, emerging from the shadows, equally masculine and equally feminine, Uncle Clifford. Eyelashes yeah. dancing like butterfly wings right. and nails like eagle claws. So oh. those two things told me everything that I needed, like to like kind of embrace this character. Yeah. Hello, the costumes and those nails. Holy mackerel! <laughs> like, are you like excited at the end of shoot, like to like peel them off? <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, I am. Don't the the makeup and the wardrobe to me? That's a part of getting into the character. Oh, 100%. it's really interesting. Yeah, you know, I, I was on the show called Claws. On yes, TV, you were. Watch, you know? And it was on that show that I actually saw because you're shooting so many episodes, you know, you have to have different nails. The, you know, it was a nail shop. And so you do the nails all the time. Right. And the nails and the makeup are definitely a part of our show. 
Yeah. Uncle Clifford's nails are very different from Autumn Knight's nails and yes. very different from Mercedes' nails. I think that the design elements of this show, the fashion, the makeup, mm. the hair, the wardrobe, all of those things tell us about these people. And when you're going through the pandemic, I don't know about you, but I was in my sweats a lot. But when you had the opportunity, <laughs> when you had the opportunity to dress up, you know, yeah. there was a level of I'm going to overdo it a little bit because I haven't done it in so long. For and sure. oh, wait, now I have to find a mask that coordinates with this. You got to have your Corona <laughs> couture, right? So, you know, all of those things are coming together. It's just those little nods to like reality and the experience that we have had. Yeah. That's going to make this ride season two all the worthwhile. Oh, for sure. And listen, what a gift working with all these fabulous women. I mean, come on, mm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had all female directors yes. this season again. Um, I think that, that it, it's a part of even from when it trickles down from like the C-suite levels here at STARS, like you want to have women in different positions of power that's making decisions because that affects then the, 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 the creators, the, the writer's room, the directors, the producers. It, it's, it's really, um, it, it, it's a blessing from above because it's just different. Being yeah. on set of P Valley looks like you are living in the world. There are people yeah. of all backgrounds, all, um, uh, what do you call it? People of different handicaps, you know, different, yeah. you know, yeah. it's just everyone. And I think that like, it's important to reflect that because it's the real world and we all deserve to take up space, right? I, I agree. Okay, I gotta ask you, Nico, have you ever had the urge to uh, try out the stripper pool? Um, Nico or Uncle Clifford? Nico. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, is what that was actually a trick question for you because one and the same. Uncle Clifford um, used to be a dancer, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. maybe this season you will get to see you know little Uncle Clifford on the pole as well. Ooh, I look forward to that. I only got a couple of episodes yeah. sent to me, so I look forward to that. Um, <laughs> and at the end, I just want to wrap it up by asking, like I said, um, you know, the show has exploded in terms of the fan base. And I, like I said, here in Canada, we get it as well. And, and it's so mm -hmm. loved. Why do you think people are connecting with this show? I think people are connecting with themselves. I think that even if, like, people of different ethnicities, I think, relate to the show because it is so true. It yeah. is not a watered down version of truth and of what this Southern experience is. I think it is so authentic that there's a level of intrigue if it is different from you. And there's a level of relief and appreciation if it does look like you, if it does. So it works well on both sides of the coin. Right. Um, I think that I, I've been saying it and I'll say it again. It's a line in the show, and it says that fairy tales are nothing but horror stories mm. with happy endings. Mm. And really, we are able to see these characters, as well as us as people in real life, yeah. define what our stories will be. Amazing. Well said. Well, thank you so much for your time today. You. What a thrill to talk to you. And uh, we look forward to this new season. It's going to be great. Oh, God, after season one, I cannot wait. So thank you so much. Well, listen, get ready for the ride. I will see y'all down at the tank starting June 3rd, baby. You got it, my friend. Take care and have a wonderful day. All right. Bye -bye. Okay. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.